Tonight, I am uh, cooking some chicken and rice, or a version of chicken and rice. It's not actually going to be rice yet. I'm going to do chicken and some stuffing. Uh, doing it in my Dutch oven, which I got heating up right now. I got some bone in skin on chicken thighs. I've already seasoned. Um, and I'm chopping an onion right now. I'm doing it the easy way. I just didn't feel like doing it. Onions are easy to chop. But I'm about to do some garlic too, and uh, we'll get cooking. All right, so I'm just prepping some garlic, peeling off some cloves, and I'm gonna do these like I do my onion, just throwing them in here. Um, I like garlic, so right now I've got three cloves. I'm probably gonna do at least five, maybe six. And then the goal is to brown my chicken and then I'm gonna soften up my onion and garlic. Alright, so now I'm gonna take my chicken over to my grease and I'm just gonna brown both sides of it for maybe uh, two-ish minutes aside. I season my chicken with my own rub. It's basically a salt and pepper blend with a little paprika. And a uh, little paprika and some sugar. You can use whatever you want. Salt and pepper works great. More garlic powder works great. Uh, anytime I start browning chicken, I always go skin side down first, and I don't know if I have a rhyme or reason for that, other than I figure I'll start there, and then by the time I go to flip, then I can see the pretty skin and all that stuff. And again, I don't know if that really does anything as far as the cooking process is just the way I do it. So we'll let these brown. I'm going to flip them in a couple minutes and then I'm going to remove those and do my garlic and onions. Alright, so right now I'm taking my chicken off. Uh, got it brown for a few minutes and I'm just taking another pan. I don't know if I told y'all, I'm sauteing this in about two tablespoons of oil. Use whatever oil you want to use. Um, the first oil I grabbed was peanut oil. Normally I'd probably do vegetable or olive oil, but um, I just happened to grab the peanut oil, so that's what I'm using tonight. And then I'm pulling my chicken off. It's not terribly brown, but it looks good. Now, I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to get, let's just say, two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to throw it in the pan or the pot. Let's do three tablespoons for three pats. I don't know if I really got full tablespoons. Now, I'll grab my and again, spatula, and I'm going to dump my onion and my garlic in here, and now you're really going to get some aromas. I'm going to scrape the bottom of my pan, make sure I get all the little chicken bits up. And I'm just cooking this until these onions kind of soften up, translucent. Not really looking to caramelize them so much, just get them soft. Same with the garlic. This is the garlic and the onions and the oil. Like my dad said, he's just getting it soft. Some of this uh, liquid and oil kind of render a little bit. And actually, before I kill my heat, I'm going to start adding some stuff. And if y'all want to, Go ahead and add, uh, you know, bell pepper, jalapeno, anything. Kind of wish I had some bell pepper. That'd be good. All right, so I'm 
putting about a cup of rice in here. You know, carb heavy. And I honestly really don't know what I'm doing. So this may or may not work. Let that cook. That'll soak up some of that. And then the, what else I'm doing is going to soak up the rest. But I'm using an expired stovetop chicken dressing that I apparently can't open with my hands. But I'm going to mix all this in here. Stir it all up real good. And then I'm going to fill my heat, add fluid, add my chicken, add a cover, and it's in the oven she goes. Alright. Now, I'm going to flatten it out, make it look nice and purty. Whoop! For all you Aggies out there. Alright, so what we didn't catch on camera is I added one can of cream of chicken soup, one can of cream of mushroom soup, and 10 ounces of water. And I'm just going to add these chicken thighs. Again, these are bone-in chicken thighs, just like that. You don't want to get your hands greasy, use the tongs. Just put them like that. Presentation should look pretty. And this is either going to be a lovely dish that my family and my children love, or it's not. And now I'm going to put a cover on that. You can throw some cheese on there if you want. You can do... Um, I'm not real familiar with stuffing, so to me it almost looks like it needs more liquid. But I'm going to cook it for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes at 350. I may check it in 20 minutes and just see how it's looking. But for now, we're going to put it to bed. Let it rest its little bed. And put it in the oven. Alright, so I just pulled this out of the oven. We had it cooking for... 40 minutes at 350 degrees. That's 350. 350. You ready? You ready for the big reveal? Mm -hmm. You think it's done? I think it's done. I did check it about 20 minutes in and it looked perfect. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Voila. There she is. Chicken and stuffing, chicken and rice. You can top it with cheese. You can do as you please. All right, y'all, let's -a pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this meal. Thank you for time together with family. And um, I ask that you just um, bless this meal to nourish our bodies. You know, the good, the good Baptist request there. I ask that you comfort us and give us your peace, Father. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, Stacy wanted to hurry up and get a bite first. No, oh, you got the first bite. So, since we caught her biting, she's going to give us the first review. I like the rice. It's really good. It's really, really flavorful. Alrighty. And next on the camera, we have the Graystar. I'll try it now. You like the stuffing and rice? You like the chicken? We'll come back to you. The stuffing, How about you, Taylor? The rice thingy is good. And the chicken? Oh, yeah. Suck on that chicken. It's good, too. It's good, too. It's really good. 
We have one child who will have to give a, a review in a minute because she wanted to take a shower at supper time, which to me says no supper, but we shall see. But going back to Grace. The stuffing was really good. The stuffing was really good. The chicken was like... It's really good, but like there's no way to explain it. It's like it was cooked the perfect way. It was cooked and the then, perfect way. And then it was like fried on the outside. The it was fried on the outside. And it has so much flavor that's like makes it like almost perfect. Oh, is that nice? So funny thing, I was reviewing or videoing these reviews, and my wife who has tasted this, just now noticed that I put stuffing in the rice. Yes, I did. It's mostly stuffing in a little rice. Let me get a little bite, and I'll tell you what I think. It's really good. Yeah. And we'll do this with the chicken. Don't mm -hmm. laugh. There's your... Supper is delicious. You get to get a review on the supper. Hmm? On the Not supper. Bad. My rub is just enough. I'd like to see that rub on a barbecue grill. Maybe we'll do that next time. It's the first time I made my own chicken rub, just trying something out. So there we go. Now here is the Terror Meister. She's so fresh and clean. There's nobody clean as her. She's just so fresh, so clean. I'm not clean. I didn't take a shower yeah. yet. Well, what do you think? Yucky McYuckerson? Goody McGood? Oh, yeah, we're so good. I should go on American Idol. I should. Why wouldn't you go that far? Tell us. I would say you would go on a cooking show, not American Idol. I would win the cooking show, that's for sure. Oh, now you're getting confident in your cooking. Well, I've always been Because you're the I one who said you like his here. cooking, Tara. Oh. You said his huh. favorite. This chicken tastes a little bit like oatmeal. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little bit. Wow. wow. If only y'all could see my face. <laughs> you guys, but so, this, I'm not sure. Show the camera, show the camera. But show this the is, camera to me. I can't, the camera doesn't go. But this is really good. No, show the show stuffing me. and rice is really good. Put the camera on me. I want to show the So camera it's a camera. hit. I mean, look. It's about gone. There's just some stuffing mix left. I did five chicken thighs. Bone in. 40 minutes at 3.50. And, you know, my kids don't eat. They're more worried about playing. But, but I want to show Stacy's about done. So I've got to play catch up. The dog's down here licking her chops. I'm gonna and I'm going to go reacted. audition for American Idol now. This is what he reacted. He said. That's how he reacted. And then my face. That's uh, not my face. But make sure you like, subscribe, and turn those post notifications. We would really appreciate it. Thank you for all your guys' support. support. And bye. I was about to say, your enunciation <laughs> is uh, not on point. I gotta go get a tweet So if you're, if you're wondering, the word she actually said earlier was reacted. Reacted? 